Welcome to Stogie Palace. I am your host, Chris. Today I have the Aging Room Small Batch M356. This is a 4.5 by 48 Robusto. They call it a Paco. Rated at full strength. And I have this for almost two months. I got this from the Cigar Authority Care Package. I've talked about that a lot. That's a, I don't know if it's even available anymore, probably not, but uh, if you got in on it, it's a great deal. Four cigars a month, $19.99 including shipping, and they're usually really, really good. This one's got a sweet, uh, I wouldn't go to Barnyard on that. Nice sweet uh, smell to it there though. Same kind of flavor, uh, kind of a honey graham cracker kind of flavor. Did a pretty small little straight cut, but it's drawing fine through there. Getting out the old handy dandy uh, lens here. Magnifying glass. Toothy. You can see little spots of oil all over it. Nicely packed. Good looking cigar. So, might as well get this thing lit up. So the wrapper is Habano. This is made in the Dominican Republic by Boutique Blends, Rafael Nodal, also the maker of uh, Swag. This is AG Room. Right off the bat, a little bit of a zing there for sure. Cigar International, uh, they sell these for about $7.90 a piece in a five pack. They have this to say about it. Limited edition is surely a term you've heard before, but Adrium takes it to a whole new level with blends that employ the rarest tobaccos, which are only available in short supply. When you factor in the notion that small batch M356 was ranked among the 25 best cigars of the year in 2011 and earned a rating of 94 from Cigar Aficionado, I shouldn't have to tell you that this one won't last long. Get it while you still can, or risk missing out big time. Mm. Good performer so far, good draw, great smoke output. A Dominican Puro that was blended by Rafael Nodal. This is one premium handmade that exemplifies refined power. Bold, yet elegant, strong, yet restrained. Apparent opposites unite, and the end result can be more enticing. The blend was actually created two and a half years ago for a different line, but there wasn't enough tobacco for the full plan release. Hence, it was saved and now stands before you as an important part of the exclusive and unique Age Room line. Go ahead, give it a second look before it's too late. I have another one of these in a slightly bigger size. Mm. Definitely got a peppery zing on there, but it's also got some nice, deep, dark tones underneath that. I like it. Nice uh, waft there, maybe even a little citrusy, a little bit of a sting there. Probably too early for a retro, let it go a little bit further, but yeah. Um, I will be with Rafa and Odal here pretty soon in the field, in the uh, factory. Probably gonna have my hands on a lot of these, or similar, um, down in Dominican Republic. So looking for that. First time I've ever been. In, uh, I've been in a small factory in New Orleans, but full-blown factory in the Dominican Republic. That'll definitely be cool. Performing nicely. And this is a good size too, especially if it's full strength. If it's a real butt kicker, which I will say uh, the swag line, one of the swag, I think it was the black, it was probably about the strongest cigar I've ever smoked in my life. Whew. It was something else. It was a real butt kicker. I mean, I felt that for hours afterwards. It was a big cigar, but it was powerful. I don't remember the Adrian Room. I have to look back at my notes, and I've done a couple reviews on Adrian Rooms. I don't remember them being as strong, but strong. I would say overall... Uh, Rafael Nodal, Boutique Blends, Atrium Swag are overall more of the uh, stronger variety. So, nice start. Nice looking cigar. Let's keep going. About a half hour into this Atrium 
small batch M356. Um, about halfway in, I would say, so it's going a little quick. I did have to do uh, deepen the cut a little bit. I think it was just a little too shallow, or it was too thickly packed there at the end. Either way, I'm still above the shoulder of the cap. I can still see the, the line across there where the cap began, so cut just a little bit more, and it's been great ever since. It, it almost went out, but I think it's just because there just wasn't enough air getting through with that small cut, so use your air, I guess, but no, since then, no problem. Drawing great, putting out a lot of smoke. It's got a nice flavor to it, I like it. What is it? What is the flavor? Uh, I can't say, it's not the honey graham cracker thing anymore. Um, it's just, uh, hmm. Kind of a smoky, oaky kind of thing going on. Real subtle though. There's something else happening with it. It's kind of hard to explain what it is. Um, but it's performing really nice. Decent retro there. Really nice uh, aroma coming off the foot there though. That, that is nice. So, perfect size. I, I don't know if I'm feeling any strength yet. Hard to say, maybe just a little touch. We'll see, we'll find out for sure later. about wrapping up this uh, age room m356 small batch this is an hour and 11 minutes in just about done although I might use my Havana saver to get a little more time out of it because it's burning well although not long before this it did go out um, so let's talk about it appearance nice looking wrapper holding together good here at the end not unraveling at all cool little band uh, burn it was pretty even. I think there may have been one little uneven area there that I had to touch up. Two relights, a little more than I wanted to relight. Um, but the draw, really good. I didn't get any harshness or bitterness in there. When you relight, there's always a possibility of that, but no, didn't have that. Flavor, um, it was smooth. Like I said, no bitterness and, um, hmm. Love that uh, waft, foot smoke coming off of there. Pretty good, I'm liking it. Strength, yes, there's some strength. Um, sometimes I feel it in my head, sometimes I feel it in my chest. Feeling a little bit of both in this one. So I would say, yeah, medium full to full. It's got some strength. If it was any longer, it would be tough to keep going. That's just me. Um, overall, I end up, you know, I had a hard time deciding what to score this one. Um, I end up giving it a, 94 which is I, I think there's a bunch of aging rooms all in that log jam of 94 um, Yeah, I would buy more of these. I assume I'm gonna be smoking some more of these I just have to pace myself to bring something sweet because yeah Strength for sure it's probably that Habano wrapper that's helping out with that too. So No, I like it So this has been the aging room m356 The small batch m356 Paco small robusto and this is Chris Stogie Palace. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Comment. Thumbs up. See, it's still performing great here, right, right to the end. This is almost getting to the uh, finger and lip burning area. So I'll end it there. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I will talk to you later.